What's going on guys? Welcome to GFX Capture. In one of my previous videos, somebody commented and requested a video that I make for them about Envato Elements uh, 3D openers for YouTube. Um, so like a YouTube normal opener video. Okay, so in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to do this. Download it from the uh, Envato Elements um, and I'll show you there's tons and tons of templates available. So without further ado, Let's have a look in this video. When you come here, you have a look at all of these. Just search for YouTube 3D opener and you get tons of them, 19,798. So it's more, I think it's more than enough, but have a look to see which one you like. You can filter it down by After Effects. So After Effects, you have 12,000 or just over 12,000. Um, if you want for Premiere Pro, you've got just under 6,000 templates. So there's a lot of templates available in after in Envato Elements, sorry. For this one, I'm just gonna quickly go through and see what's good. And I'll just pick up maybe one of the, the templates from here. Let's just have a look and see which one looks good. So I think this one is probably good YouTube 3D logo. So it's from someone called Ricky, I think, uh, if I pronounce it correct. If I didn't, apologies. Do let me know how to pronounce this. And for next time, I'll make this correct. So simply download it. Then go to After Effects and go to Open Project and locate the project file that you have just unzipped and now here you have your basically main composition the project that's been put together for you you've got your edit your logo you've got your final comp your render and all your assets as well if you are bringing any new content like videos or images i always create a new folder for it like media just so that i know exactly where all my content all my media resources are so that i can easily extract it from there and it just makes it easy to to keep the project nice and tidy as well. So the first thing I want to do is let's go to the main comp that they have. So I will simply download a PNG image. So I'm just going to move this into the media folder, as I said, to keep things nice and tidy. And then from there, drag it down so that I have this on my timeline like so. So that's my logo. Okay, this is the main renderer, but what I'm going to do is to go to the final 02 and go to the renderer over here. And as you can see, there is a sub main composition here. I'm going to go in there. And again, in this one, they have another sub composition, logo and mask. Okay, so for this one, what we will do, let's see what they have actually done. Okay, so they've already taken my, my logo from, from here and this is fine. They've got some masks on here as well, which is absolutely fine. I don't think I want to change that necessarily. So let's have a look at the final composition. Okay, as I said, this can be anything. This can be a text logo. This can be a, um, a, a PNG image. So once you've done those changes, let's come back to the main renderer and let's have a look. And there you have it. Okay, so things like these are very simple to edit. Things like these are also simple to understand as well. Once you go into the sub compositions. It also depends on how the creator of this template has actually put the project together as well. Sometimes creators make the project very confusing. Sometimes they make it very easy like this one, where you don't need to really do anything. All you do is just drag and drop your images, your, your video files, and you are good to go. So I hope this was useful for you. I will make some more YouTube intro videos as well uh, for you guys in Premiere Pro and After Effects as well. Uh, but if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button on this video. Do comment if you have any questions in the comment section. And until the next video, look after yourself. Bye.